In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create a simple yet impressive design on a helmet using an airbrush and some water-based paints. First, you have to cover or remove anything that you don't want to be painted on the helmet. We are using a small children's helmet and decided to paint only the top part. By not painting all the way around, it will save us from painting around 30% of the surface area, which won't be very visible anyways, so we decided to keep it simple. Remove all the stickers from the working surface and sand it down with a 6 to 800 grip sandpaper or buffing pad. We used a mini spray gun to cover the entire area with black Autoborn sealer by Createx and sanded it again after it dried to remove any dents and scratches that came with the original paintwork. We also did this to flatten any imperfections that we applied in the fresh coat. This step can be skipped if you're in a hurry though. Next, we used a 0.5mm nozzle airbrush to lay down some blue color from Createx. We applied a transparent sealer, code 6000, over it as an inner coat so the further work would be easier, especially when using the vinyl stenciling. A plotter was used to cut out some of the stencil pieces, and you can do this by hand, but it's going to be very time consuming and it could result in some imperfections. Finally, the most artistic part. Using a fine airbrush and some white paint, you can create lightning strikes all over the helmet. Just use your inner artist to guide you as far as where to add more color and where to make the bolts brighter. In our case, we have to make them heavier over decals so they will clearly be visible when the vinyl is removed. Use your imagination and free hand skills to create a unique design. Feel free to go heavy here with solid wide lines going from thicker to thin. You'll understand why later. Here's a little secret on how to make your lighting more realistic and deep. As soon as you feel that you're done with the lightning strikes, take your base color and spray it over. Lightly though, so the texture is visible. This is where the transparent colors become useful, and after they have dried, go back to the white color and follow the same lines you had before, making them a bit narrower and a bit lighter. It's time to remove the vinyl and see the complete result. And don't worry, all the color depth will come up after the clear coat has been applied.
hope you enjoyed the video and the tutorial and it helps you. Stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you next time. Thanks.